All right, welcome to my Awakening Challenges Guide. So in this first episode, I'll be covering all the Thor challenges. So to begin with, we have to prove your worth by picking up the Mjolnir as Thor. And the Mjolnir is Thor's pickaxe, which unfortunately only two characters in the entire game at the moment can wield. And that is Thor himself, as well as Captain America. So if you saw my season four teaser videos, you'll know exactly where Thor's hammer is. It's right here to the southwest of Salty Springs. Now, again, you have to be the Thor character to pick this up. It's kind of weird that I can deploy Mjolnir's path as a glider, but I don't actually have the pickaxe yet. This is what that looks like, by the way. How awesome is that? Kind of looks a little awkward when you're traversing. What is up with my internet, by the way? I've had bad connection status all day. Pretty sweet. So we're going to go down to the hammer. We're going to pick it up. Actually, I'm going to land over here so I don't get bamboozled by this guy. So I got Captain America's pickaxe out right now because why not? But here is Mjolnir right here in the center of the crater. And there's the prompt to pick up. So this is the exact location right there on your minimap. Again, just hold square to pick it up. And there it is. Nice music. Good old Mjolnir. Oh, wow. Look at that. He swaps hands and everything. Too bad you can't chuck it. That'd be awesome. Here's what it sounds like. So it it has a unique sound. It's got a little bit of a contrail. How about the pull-out feature? It kind of flies towards you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's real awesome. I like that. All right, so the next challenge says visit Bifrost Marks as Thor. So, again, if you saw my teaser video, the Bifrost Marks are up here, which is where we're going to traverse next. All right, so here are the Bifrosts. There's six of them in total, but it looks like you only have to go to one. What did that actually do, though, besides complete the challenge? Huh. Okay, well, that was stage one. Visit the Bifrost, and here is the exact location. Right here on your minimap, just to the right of this white building. So there it is. You get Mjolnir after you complete that challenge, of course. So when you go to it in-game, you can see in the bottom right, it says, appears as the default pickaxe when not equipped along with a worthy outfit. So let's see if you can tell who's worthy or not. I'm just going to put Ninja on, and let's see if it works. There you go. It does not. Ninja is not worthy. However, like I said, if you put Captain America on, let's see where he is, right here, he is definitely worthy to wield the pickaxe. Pretty sweet. I like that. A lot of people are not happy with this, though, because it's exclusive to two characters right now, Thor and Captain America. So stage two of three says deal damage to opponents using Mjolnir as Thor. So we basically have to go around and pickaxe people. You can obviously do this in Team Rumble. That's where I'm going to do it real quick. All right, so what I'm going to do for this one is go to the end of the bus route down here and see if I can catch someone AFK on the enemy team. So you only have to do 100 damage, which is not too much. Just pickaxe someone a few times and you should be good to go. And again, in Team Rumble, you're more likely to find lesser skilled players. In fact, here's some right here. This guy looks like a newbie booby. Oh, he's collecting the rings. I feel bad for doing this, buddy, but I have to. No, no, come back, kitty kitty. I gotta kill you. I must. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, Kiki Master. There we go. It's clobbering time. That should have been 100, right? Yes, there we go. Put the hammer down. A few achievements down there. I feel bad. I really do for killing that guy. Now, unfortunately, you do have to leave the match in order to get stage 3. This guy's going to come back and get me. All right, so stage three of three says emote as Thor at Mountain Top Ruins. And luckily, it shows us on the map where that is. Otherwise, I'd be clueless. So I'm going to do this in Team Rumble as well, just because it's easiest. But as you can see, when you inspect the challenge, it shows you exactly where you have to go. There's a giant hammer down there just south of Misty Meadows. And that's where we're going to drop. So as you can see, on top of this snow-covered mountain are the ruins. Looks like there's also a chest spawn up here. And by the way, chest spawns have been nerfed tremendously, which means it may not always spawn anymore, which is absolutely terrible. I hate that. But here are the ruins, and all we have to do is emote. 
there it is, God of Thunder, transform into Thor's almighty form with this built-in emote. Here we go. Spin it around and point to the heavens. Boom! Then you turn into Cosmic Thor and you get this awesome Super Saiyan effect. Super Saiyan Blue effect, I should add. Let's see if you can do it again. What happens if you do it again? Oh, you untransform, right? Yes. So you can transform and you can untransform. Pretty sweet. All right, let me see if I can spin him around. Oh, we got it. Hey, Thor, you want to do this with me? You friend or foe? Let's both do it. Yeah. You already have it. What are you doing? Do you need to pickaxe me? I'll let you. Oh, I guess we can just look at his face. All right, I was going to spin around, but no, no, do it again. Do it again. Spin again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Wow. Look at that blue. Awesome glow. Thanks a lot, buddy. Have a good day. Here. You want to kill me? There it is. Thor awakening. Transform into Thor's almighty form with this built-in emote. Absolutely epic. I love this. I love that there's challenges associated with all of these things. This is going to be an amazing season. You get a good perspective of it right here. Pretty sweet. All right, so that's all there is to it for all of the Thor Awakening challenges. I will be covering each and every Battle Pass skin's Awakening challenges so you can unlock all their built-in emotes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.